Hi crafters, Karen here from Karen's Crafting Company. And in today's video, it's all about the December 2022 sheet load of cards. So here we are, December 2nd, and you get to see not only my cards that I create, but also the collaboration team of Crafty Elves. So make sure you click on the hashtag that you see in my title, and that will take you to all the collaborators videos and you will get to see their take on the December sheet load of cards. Now before I share with you my cards, I wanted to sh show you the paper pad that I used to make my cards for this month. This paper pad is called Cozy Noel and it's by DCWV and I purchased this at Joann's uh, last year on clearance and let me just quickly show you some of the papers uh, that you see in here and uh, what's great about this paper pad is it's double-sided which I absolutely love and it also has some foil on some of those pages which I absolutely love and there's that foil that I was talking about I love the different color combinations that they have in here and they all just go so well together so that is the paper pad that I am using for the sheet load. All right, so here is our December 2022 sheet load. And for this month, we have, there are specific instructions on how to go ahead and put these two pieces on your card. Now, if you're not familiar with Crafty L's sheet load of cards, let me just quickly tell you a little bit about that. So every month on the first of the month, Crafty L provides a sheet load of cards template. And if you are a subscriber to her channel, you get a free copy of the template. She also provides uh, specific instructions. Her sheet loads are very straightforward and super easy to follow. So she will provide the supplies that you need She'll tell you how many cards will yield this particular sheet load. She gives you the dimensions of one card if you just feel like making one card. And in some instances, she'll give you specific instructions on the patterns or you know the card stock uh, or how to cut it. And it will depend on the sheet load, but there's always specific instructions on that. And then she also includes some alternatives or modifications on how you can change up the sketch. On the other side, she has all the cutting measurements and the guides on how to cut your papers. And she also shows an image of the type of card base that you would need for the particular sheet load. And in this case, we have the top fold, but however, please remember that you can use side, load, side fold for this if you wish. This is just a jumping point and uh, you know, just some inspiration to give you. You do not have to follow this particular card base or for the sketch for that matter, you can alter it. And then uh, for this particular sheet load, Crafty L did include specific uh, instructions on how to go ahead and layer and cut those two pieces that you see on the diagonal. Very specific very easy to follow. All right, so let me share with you the cards that I made. So again, we get eight cards and I followed Crafty L's sketch exactly. So I have six with the, I'm sorry, four with the Christmas tree pattern in the back and the snowflake in the front. And then I have four with the snowflake in the back and the Christmas tree here. Now because of the designs, I decided that for my embellishments, I brought in my snowflake and my Christmas tree. Now, uh, if you've seen uh, my videos before, you will see that uh, this snowflake is from a die and embossing folder all in one, and that's by Sizzix and Tim Holtz. And then this Christmas tree is 
from a Hero Arts card kit that I purchased a couple of years ago. And I decided to bring that in and I stamped uh, the, the, the image and then I used my Christmas tree die cut to die cut that out. And because of the patterns that you see, I decided that I was going to go black and white for these cards. And I really thought that they turned out really, really pretty. Now for my Christmas tree embellishment, I brought in my uh, white embossing powder and I, you know, heat emboss that. So I, you know, wanted to just try something different. I really don't use embossing powder a whole lot. So I was really happy to use that. And then I also brought in some brads that I have in my stash. And then when I cut down the paper, I had that strip from the snowflake paper and I just added it to the inside of my cards for you know more decoration to the inside and I was able to do that I, I also added a, a strip here and then you know more of that here and then that border on the bottom and then pretty much the same thing for my snowflake I brought in a, a nice gem to put in the center of that and again, keeping it black and white, really wanted that black and white theme. I just thought that these patterns were so pretty and I thought, why not? Let's try a black and white theme, something different, especially for, uh, you know, this type of year and, um, you know, Christmas cards uh, for the making. All right, friends, this wraps up another video. Please stay tuned to the, to the very end, and I will show you some close-up pictures of the cards that I created for the December Sheload. Until my next video, friends, I hope your day is a crafty day. Have a good day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.